Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We are going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. Uh, for today's video, day 10 will take us to the 18th of June. And we'll be able to extend our beyond that with the XAGFS and ECM Ensemble because they went around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of video for the next four weeks, which will get us into the early part of July. We're also going to have a look at the ECM WF seasonal model uh, in this video as well. So we'll look at C. Uh, mean sea level pressure anomalies for the next uh, four trimonthly periods covering the rest of summer and into uh, autumn as well. So I shall get on with that for you in a second. Um, just say again, thank you so much for all the lovely messages that you've all been sending uh, about the uh, passing of, of my mum, of Mrs P, who we lost on the 27th of May. Um, the messages have been incredible. You are so kind. You're lovely, lovely people. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, for all of the support and all of the uh, amazing uh, messages, you know, thank you so much to each and every one of you. It means so much to me and also uh, to the family uh, as well. So thank you so much to each and every one of you um, for that. The funeral is going to be a week on Friday on the um, on the seventeenth of June. So uh, you know, in that period between between her passing and and, um, and the funeral, she was a very sad time. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I just want to say thank you so much, yeah, thank you so much to all of you, and, and I'm okay, you know, I'm fine, so, so please don't worry. Right, okay, so you're going to start off with, um, the GFS Upper Air Temperature and Precipitation Ensembles, uh, for this one. So, we're looking at Portsmouth, uh, today. The red line is the, uh, first year Upper Air Temperature Average for Portsmouth, and you can see we're about average at the moment, maybe... Go a little bit below next twenty-four hours, maybe a little bit above at the end of week into weekend. Before we drop again, perhaps slightly uh, later in weekend into uh, about next week. Now, the second half of June begin to show some uh, hotter hot outliers. So we've got the ensemble mean here, which is the white line that is lifting up above the red line as we go through the third week of June. That does mask a lot of scatter. You will notice these ensemble members up here. We have now got some very hot. Uh, GFS ensemble members appearing, particularly that one, which is going um, closer to 25 degrees at 858 PA. Wow, that is extremely hot. Um, so there are several hot outliers that are appearing. That is not start pulling the ensemble mean of white line, you know, up quite significantly. However, we can't discount all of these cooler ensemble members down here. These are the ones that are keeping things much closer to average. So there's a possibility we might turn things a lot hotter through the third week uh, of June. It's one to watch, one to keep an eye on. But at the moment, it's no more than that. I think we are going to be quite close to some very hot air that's going to push northwards uh, out of um, Spain and, and get into France. How far north that hot air gets um, remains to be seen. But it is one to watch. As far as uh, precipitation is concerned, of course, we have wet weather overnight and, and this morning. We're going to have quite a few days of drier weather, actually, down the south, anyway, through the rest of the week into weekend. And then into next week, it looks like it turns more unsettled. And, of course, that is when we're possibly lifting up these upper air temperatures. So it may start to turn thundering as we go into uh, next week. You know, if we've got this heat trying to push north out of France, in fact, develops into an area of low pressure, um, due to the heat, humidity and instability, then we might be looking at some quite fungy weather, potentially, uh, next week. So, next week is, um, you know, uh, rather unexpectedly now, coming a little bit more uncertain. And I think we're going to wait and see where things are going. I'll talk you through the charts in a moment and you'll see what's happening. Temperature anomalies from the 8th to 16th of June can be very close to average, maybe ever slightly below. Precipitation anomalies from the 8th to 16th of June bit wetter than an average of the northern half of the country, driving an average shape across England and Wales. The latest wind from that from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that uh, winds are going to be in, or winds are in, uh, from, from the west, from off the Atlantic today. So we've got a nice sort of fresh feel uh, across the uh, country. There's another area of low pressure, quite a big low out in the Atlantic. This one just here has the remains of uh, Tropical Storm Alex. Right then, so let's go through the generic charts. This is how the uh, GFS Midnight Run is looking for midnight on Saturday. That is that area of low pressure 
uh, the remains of Tropical Storm Alex just to the north and west of Scott, and that will bring a bit of a battering into the uh, northwest of the country over the weekend. Meanwhile, further south, we're going to be closer to this ridge, so it shouldn't be that unsettled in the south over the weekend. Into the open of next week, high pressure will be bridging into southern parts of the country, which will bring some reasonably dry and relatively warm weather there. Meanwhile, further north, though, low pressure will continue to bring further outbreaks of rain and maybe at times some quite strong winds into the far north and northwest of the country. By the time we get through the midnight on Wednesday, we say low pressure and it's a 10 weather run. We push you across the country. That could bring wet weather uh, even into more southern areas. As far as we get to with the uh, UK Met uh, Euro, let's have a look at ICON. So this is how uh, ICON looks at midnight on Saturday. Again, quite a deep area of low pressure to the northwest of Scotland. That will bring wet and windy weather into the northwest country. Meanwhile, further south, we're closer to that ridge, so it should be a little bit drier. Through there into the weekend, probably quite a bit of dry weather for Sydney Wales with this ridge of high pressure setting in from west. Meanwhile, further north looks rather unsettled. Uh, into the open next week, so high pressure event is strengthening across the country, but ridge is strengthening across the country with uh, ICOM. As far as we get to uh, with ICOM, get, it gets us to midday on Wednesday, 15th of June, by which time which is just beginning to weaken a little bit as well as pressure starting to come back in. From off the Atlantic. So, a relatively dry start next week, Vicon, then perhaps a bit more unsettled by the middle of the week. So, the uh, GFS um, midnight rose looking again, quite a deep low out to northwest Scotland on Saturday. That low pressure moves north, which will go through sunny into Moneyland, Miss Ridge to build in from west and from the southwest. That should be quite a dry weather with it. By Tuesday, we're under ridge, so most areas should be dry at that point. And then through the middle of the second half of the week, bridge weakens as a trough of low moves in from the Atlantic that brings uh, further showery bursts of rain with it, especially to the north and west. Up to day 10, that's how we're looking. So low pressure with the GFS midnight run, seeing control up to Saturday 18th of June. Got a deep low to north of Scotland, high pressure further south, bringing wind from off the Atlantic. There's some very hot air just to our south at this point. So if I look at the upper air temperatures for day 10, 18th of June, You'll see that um, Spain looking really hot, and that heat is extending into France as well. We're just on the edge, just on the periphery uh, of that, but we're basically still under the cooler, fresher, more Atlantic air. And actually, that heat gets very quickly swept away as we go to Sunday, the 19th of June. That gets swept off into southern and eastern Europe, and we actually go into rather cool, uh, a rather cool northerly. Let's see our temperatures showing that. We was only on the periphery of the heat and it gets pushed away very quickly by the 19th of June. We're back into those cooler northern winds. So, men looking quite um, cool and showery right way to the end of the GFS big dike run with low pressure continuing coming from off the Atlantic. So, we nearly pull up some very hot air from France around the 18th uh, of June, around day 10, but we just don't quite get there. And actually, it's the Atlantic that remains to be sensitive. Let's have a look at 6th F. See how that one is looking. So, uh, again, on Saturday, uh, with Jeff and Six there, uh, low pressures away to the northwest. That's been showing rain into northern and western parts of the country. Over okay, next week, the ridge extends up from the west and from the southwest, bringing quite a bit of dry weather with it. Um, by Tuesday, main dry the south under a ridge, low pressure, bringing showy weather to the north. Um, middle of the week and second half of the week continues to keep mainly dry weather going to the south, really. A bit of dry weather there under that 1,020 mm bar, ice bar, relatively warm too. Further north, it's much more unsettled with low pressure and further showy rain into northern and western parts. We're going to just day 10, 18th of June. Uh, again, we are very close to this fungi low and some very hot air over France, but the high pressure actually pulling out to our west at this point and allowing cooler air to dig back in from the north northwest. Again, there's the upper air temperatures for day 10. 18th of June, we are very, very close to this really hot air. So, France have got plus 20, plus 20 Celsius ice firm into central parts of France, plus 15 Celsius ice firm is into northern France. So, we're close to like 30 degree plus heat there uh, by by day 10. But actually, it's a cooler air from off the Atlantic, the northern wind, but, but remains in control. So, um, we keep it generally uh, close to average or rather cool. 
uh, right the way up to the end of the GFS Midnight Run. We say on the cool side, it's a ridge of high pressure and continue to pull wind in from the north and northeast. There is a possibility though, but only sort of change could start to bring up this very hot air from France uh, around days 9, 10, 11, 12. So it is certainly one to keep an eye on. It, 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 it's a possibility. If you're enjoying this video, then please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. If you do so, you will be able to see future weather content, including at the end of the week, or from the end of the week, uh, future glass show updates. GM looks like that. So once more, we've got low pressure waves to the northwest, bringing showery and um, wet to windy weather into northwest areas on Saturday. Um, Three weekend into about next week, a ridge will bring quite a bit of dry weather into the south. It will be more unsettled, though in the north and west. Heading into the middle and second half next week, low pressure continues to push in from off the Atlantic and we keep it rather cool and showery with winds in from the west to northwesterly direction by day 10. So uh, the GM again keeps things rather showery and quite cool up to day 10. And then we've got the ECM WF which is looking like this rather and settled to the northwest on Saturday. Quite a dry weather though further southwards into the uh, open next week again. It is the south that gets the driest weather. The north and west will get the most unsettled weather of the middle part of the week. Further wind and rain coming in from off the Atlantic. Quite cool temperatures as well. Um, by day 10, that's how looking still a bit mixed. High pressure trying to ridge up from the southwest, but really we're still in these rather showery and quite cool northwesterly winds. There's another area of low pressure lurking just to our west, and you go and go in that direction. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tomestro.com. So showering today, further showery weather to come through to the end of the week and the weekend. Most of the rain in the northwest, not that much showering in the south. In so part of next week, the trend is to dry weather for a while into the south, southeast, but in the north and west, further west and windy weather pushing through, and that cloud wind of rain then spread south and east was through the first half of the middle part of next week. And then the second half of next week, um, looking quite unsettled all the way to day 10, with the possibility of further outbreaks of rain. This is the option on the table within the ECM on Solomon's Day 4, Day 10, from the Icelandic Met Office, gets us to the 18th of June, 51. Out of 51 members of the ECM on Solomon's all of them, with low pressure weight to the northwest, high pressure to the south and to the southwest. The winds are coming in from a westerly direction. Two week time. These are the options that we've got. We'll get us to the 23rd of June. 18 members of the ECM on some of them have a mid-Atlantic ridge up towards Greenland. The chuff road pressure over to the east of the country. Winds in from the north, so rather cool and unsettled with that 18, or another 18. Again, with a mid-Atlantic ridge up towards Greenland. Deeper trough of road pressure perhaps over to the east of the country. Again, that's bringing down those cool northerly winds. Eight, uh, with again, a mid-Atlantic ridge, which is also combining with high pressure to our northeast, low pressure towards the southwest. So that should be a bit warmer, but could be a bit more unsettled. And then seven with uh, low pressure to the northeast, high pressure to the west. Uh, that's going to be bringing in wind from like a westerly or northwesterly direction. So the options are varying, but um, it all looks a little bit showery and quite cool, I have to say, with most of those as we get up towards um, day 14. CFS V2 looking like this. These are 500 millibar high to orange broke down to wheat beers. The first wheat beer takes us from the 7th to the 13th of June. The coming week with low pressure weight to the northwest and bringing in winds from off the Atlantic. There is a ridge try to build around Spain, but basically we're under the unsettled weather from off the Atlantic. Um, week 2 will be the 14th to the 20th of June with, again, below average heights, low pressure out to our west. Uh, so that, again, continues to look quite unsettled, to be honest. Week 3. It's going to be the 21st, 27th of June. Uh, with low pressure then over and tried to the south of the country. Quite cool and unsettled. But that one, a bit of a change over week four, which is the 28th of June to 4th of July. Ridge of high pressure then building in from the Atlantic and going towards our northeast. So that should bring a fair amount of dry and relatively warm weather with it perhaps for the very end of June beginning of July. That remains to be seen though, of course. Right, last thing to look at is ECMWF. So let's do a bit of long range. Uh, so this is the mean sea level pressure anomaly from the ECMWF for July, August, September. So through the middle to latter part of the summer 
And uh, look away now if you want to hop to the second half of summer. Um, because this doesn't look very good at all. Showing low pressure across northern and western Europe with a bit of a middle Atlantic ridge too. Um, that's going to be quite a cool and unsettled sort of mid to late summer, I'm afraid. So uh, not looking great there for anybody who wants like um, hot weather in, in, in July, August. Uh, so, so yeah, quite unsettled. That's how the next trimonthly period looks, August, September, October. Uh, so higher pressure and trying to build up from the southwest, low pressure lifting out to the northwest. That could be get something a little bit drier and warmer maybe through uh, the early part of the autumn. Perhaps hinting at some high pressure for September would be quite typical that to happen. This is autumn itself. This is September, October, November. We're a long way out now, of course, but East is showing higher pressure out to our west then. Um, so bringing like a westerly type flow off the Atlantic. Probably relatively dry in the south, more unsettled perhaps in the north. And then the next trimonthly period takes us through to October, November, December, to the final trimonthly period of the year. Um, then we've got high pressure centred over to West Country. We'll notice with time, this higher pressure is trying to get up towards Greenland. So with time, the colours are getting more intensely towards orange, you know, uh, around Greenland. Show high pressure is trying to get northwards as we're moving towards the uh, winter, but of course, this is a very long way off. As it is, that anomaly will probably be relatively dry and quite mild with wind coming in from off the Atlantic. But of course, if high pressure were to go any further north, then things would start getting interesting. Uh, this is how the temperature anomaly is looking for the first trimonthly period. I won't go through all of them. This is just uh, July or September, rest of summer. Coming out, round average, a little bit above in most yellow colours, so that's around. Um, average to like half a degree above, certainly nothing to get excited about. Um, perhaps more notably is the precipitation only for July, August, September, which is coming out wetter than average. Bear in mind, this is a tri monthly period, so it could be something like we have a very wet month in there, maybe July, maybe August. You know, we might have one very, very wet month and then the other two are, are, are drier. Uh, something like that could be going on, but overall, it does look as though it's, a, it's an unsettled sort of uh, remainder uh, of summer. So this June um, that we've had so far, which has been mixed so far, might be setting the scene actually for what's going to be quite an unsettled summer. But we'll have to wait and see. All speculation, uh, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings attached, of course. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, then please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth's Wervids and get them to subscribe to. And as I say, if you do give us a sub, you will be able to see future weather content, including future Glastro updates. I am going to do some Glastro updates uh, starting at the end of this week. So many people are asking me about them and want to see them. So uh, I will do a few Glastro updates uh, alongside the regular 10 to 14 days from like the end of this week and this weekend onwards. Otherwise, everything else on the back burner and, until later on in the month. Right, so thank you so much everybody. We'll probably have a 10 to 14 day tomorrow. I'm just saying it one day at a time. So if I don't feel right recording, then then I'll have a day off, you know, but we'll probably do a 10 to 14 day off tomorrow. Uh you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and for this one that's all for now. And thanks for watching.